Hello friends, uh, I'm Dr. Teva Devi, and uh, today I have planned to uh, give you a training information about uh, the Mendeley software, uh, Mendeley software reference manager. This Mendeley uh, reference manager is going to help you uh, in um, uh, writing the references whenever you are writing the research paper. At that time, typing the references uh, is a really, really a tedious job. And uh, if you have to type this reference list two times or three times for different different journals, then really it become a headache for the research uh, for, for the researcher. So considering this thing, a Xavier company has prepared a software that is called Mendeley, and uh, that software is very intuitive software, and uh, the algorithm that is working behind the software is it means it's phenomenal, and it's a very good uh, software and the algorithm. So if you can. Um, uh, means uh, you should download this thing. Uh, you have to go to the Mendeley uh, website www.mendeley.com. You go to that and uh, download that uh, software and uh, plug in with your word. So and after that, whenever you are writing some research paper, at that time you can directly uh, give the reference from the Mendeley library. So all those things that I will uh, means I'm going to show you in my presentation. And for that, I'm going to share my screen with you so that uh, I can show you where is the software and how it is working. So right now, <coughs> you, uh, like you can see my uh, uh, desktop right now. So here I have, uh, this is the desktop application of Mendeley. And uh, so let us first start with the website. And you should open the Mendeley.com, www.mendeley.com. It is a free reference manager, as you can see. <coughs> Mendeley.com, uh, it is opening. And uh, after opening to this, you have to uh, like create a free account. So you can create your free account here. And uh, you have to sign up here. And after sign up, you can download for free on the, your MacBook, on your Windows, uh, and on your Android phone also or on the Linux and everywhere you can do this thing. So you have to create a free account. Now if you have an account, then you can just sign in. So like uh, I have created account with the Mendeley so that I will sign in with that account. So it's a, it's a Xavier uh, company. So it is signing in. After signing in, you have option to download two things. First, download the Mendeley application for the web, the first thing. And second thing, in the same page, first page, you will get the Windows Windows plugin. So when you download that Windows plugin, at that time, that plugin gets connected with your Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word. For example, I'm showing you that. A reference. You open the some Word document, go to the reference, and see here, Mendeley Cytobasis. So from the website, when I downloaded the plugin and I installed the plugin in my computer, so that plugin is reaching here, Mendeley Cytomatic. So now this is connected. Your Mendeley Cytomatic disk and your Mendeley library disks are connected. So whatever you want to do here, it will interact with the, your library. Okay, so let's go to the website again. So this, this is the library, uh, sorry, this is your uh, Mendeley website and I have already prepared my library here. So you can slowly, slowly upload your articles, your published articles or whatever different, different articles you are reading and you have the PDF of those articles you can upload here. Those things you can keep on uploading here. This is your library. Okay. And uh, if you can see the right hand side here, one add button. When you click this add button, it is giving you options. Add files, add it manually, add folder. It means uh, whatever PDF files you have stored in your computer, those things you can now uh, upload here. For example, see this. So now, whatever PDF, mostly PDF, because this Mendeley extracts the information from the PDF. So whatever PDF files you have, you can just upload here, it will reach here. After reaching here, you can see here like this. Now, your Mendeley will read the information from this. For example, you can see here, left hand side, you can see right hand side. 
So this information, this Mendeley has already extracted, and it is showing here. For example, this uh, application of ultrasound input processing, author name, journal name, publisher, page number, everything it is showing here. The abstract ISN number, which date you have accessed it. So and the URL of the paper, tag, and the file. Everything you can see here. Same way. And you can edit also this information. By chance, if some information is wrong here by during a session, you still have an opportunity to uh, edit them. Now, similarly, if by chance you don't have uh, some PDF, but you only have information for that, that uh, this kind of information is available here, then add entry manually. Come to point number two, add entry manually. Now, this uh, dialog box opens for you. Now in dialog, in this dialog box, you can enter your information manually. But dear friends, it will be one time only. You need not type again. So if one time you enter this information here, then your job is done. Now if you click on this drop down menu, you will see a lot of information. Book, generic, book section, conference proceedings, working paper, report, lots of things are here. Means what kind of information or what kind of uh, communication uh, you are going to uh, save here that you can do here. For example, um, let's take one website or uh, newspaper article. Humanities, uh, the writers who are writing for the humanities researchers, so they, so many times they refer the newspaper. So, non newspaper title. So, what is the title of newspaper? Sorry, what is the title of uh, your article? Who is the author of that? So, last name, first name, this way you have to enter. Then what is the abstract? You can copy a little bit. Who is the publisher of the newspaper? Year, month, which day, which page, which city edition? Everything you can put here. And if, and then what was the URL of that particular article? So that you can enter here. After entering everything, you can save it. So in that way, that information will be saved here. This is the now. When the information this way, you can build up your library. So first, you have to build up your library. And that you can keep on building. As you are writing the paper, you can keep on building the library. So you have to explore this thing. More and more you explore, more you will learn from this thing. So I hope you understand this thing. So first, you um, to the website, create your free account. After creating the account, you download two things. First thing, web application that will be stored in your computer. And second thing, you have to download the Word plugin from the Mendeley website. That Word plugin will connect with the reference manager of your Word document. This way it works. Now, uh, whenever you are working in a uh, means a public computer, like in your institution, at that time, the vacation you cannot carry from your computer. So, but that time, the library that you are making in the Mendeley cloud, that is going to help you out. So, that will help you. In that way. But you have to uh, install the Mendeley plugin in your that office computer also, because then it will be extracting the information from that. Okay. So now let's again come back to the uh, our program. Uh, means once you have built up the library. Now after building the library, now now the question is how to uh, cite this thing. For example, uh, this is the uh, it is an article that uh, I'm writing and um, I want to give the in-text reference as well as the end reference in this one. Okay, this is my target. So let us see. For example, uh, Asha Gati, A waste production is uh, in great amount and its problems which challenges the field of waste and in environment management stem from the increase in the production of electronic appliances here. Now at the end here, here I want to give some reference. And that reference I have already saved in the my Mendeley library. So what I will do, I click here, then I go to insert citation. Click here, one small box will be opening here. So now, one small box is opening here. So now in this small box, I will uh, type the name of author uh, or the title which I want to uh, mean uh, the citation here. For example, DWI. I know something that is related to that. So, so related to DWI, this thing is, okay, no issue. So DWI, 
So now related to that author, so many papers are opening here. You can see here. So which paper you want to refer here? Just click on that paper, and okay. Now see, Tandon et al. 2009. So automatically that thing came here. Now let's see one more place. Here also I want to put some reference. So again go to insert citation and. Um, now one more. I want to give this reference another reference. Okay. So second second also came here. You can see here. And what 2016? This reference came here. Okay. Let's take one more at the end of this document. Let's add one more reference. Now I want to give uh, one more information like uh, this information. This this I want to give. Now see. Total, I have given three insight references I have given here. Now, my work is finished. I have given all the references. Now, I want to create the list of, uh, complete list of bibliography, whatever is coming here. What I will do? Now, I will go again to that list, insert bibliography. Click on this. And friends, you can see here, automatically, all these references are coming here this time. Everything is coming here without we have done anything. And uh, now this I will put as a left side. Hmm. So all the references are, are coming here. Now, uh, uh, we this is right now what is the reference style. This is the Harvard reference style you can see when you click in that. Now we want to convert into IEEE style. So just click on the IEEE. Now everything you can see here, everything changed into IEEE style. Uh, in the in test also, as well as here at the end also, everything changed as per the uh, IEEE style. Okay, uh, I want to change into uh, this uh, nature in nature journal style. So it will again change like this. Now fancy here. Now see the end uh, uh, in test referencing. This becomes the Subscript line one, two here, and third here. And this is the reference style of the uh, nature journal. So, fancy, it's very easy to give the citation, very easy to give citation once your library is filled with the, uh, with the article that you want to refer here. Not only this, but you can give the newspaper reference, website reference, anything that information that you have stored in your um, library, Monday library, that you can refer here. And within a fraction of a second, you can change the references style. So this is the Mendeley reference styling. And the best thing, uh, fans, it is free. And uh, you can save some PDF paper in your Mendeley cloud library also. You can save here. And it will certainly um, will save your time. One time library built up uh, means, uh, um, will take time. But slowly, slowly, whenever you read some good paper and you think that uh, in future you may need this thing, so that you can upload in your Monday library. And if you think uh, so much papers are here and maybe your that free space that Monday is giving you that may go out of uh, space, so what you can do? You can take the uh, article title, author, all this metadata information and add entry manually. By this, uh, you can enter this information in the uh, in your in, in your Monday library. So even though you don't have the full PDF, but information you have, so that information any time you can receive when you are giving the references. So I think uh, uh, you will see this video, uh, repeat this video two three times, and if you have any question. There is no doubt you can uh, write me uh, at priya.gvd at the red gmail.com or you can tweet me at uh, my Twitter handle is at the red So, uh, so, so if, if you have any query, you can send me on that. I will try to reply you and we will be doing this practice uh, some more time so that more of the people get uh, this opportunity to learn this wonderful software. Okay, thank you for giving your time.